how to add product variations in WooCommerce for color, size, price, and more. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can add product variations to your WooCommerce products like this. So you can add colors, you can add different sizes, you can add multiple different prices as well. So it's very simple and easy and it's not as difficult. Plus you don't need any external plugin. You can do this all on WooCommerce. To get into it, head on over to your WordPress dashboard and WooCommerce is usually used by almost everyone that is building their WordPress e-commerce store and it's super simple and easy to add variations simply head on over to woocommerce products over here on the left side of your screen and once you are in the product section what you're going to do is you can click on attributes so you're just going to click on attributes now whatever is the attribute that you want for example the attribute is this section so you have metal color sizes if you want different sizes colors so on and so forth you're going to add that as a attribute so you can do that as you are creating a product but you can simply go into the attribute section and name the attribute that you want to add so for example i want to add a attribute which might be sizes and then after you have sizes you're going to add your slug so this is going to be used as a little section that is going to be shown in the url but we're just going to go on ahead and click on add attribute and now you can see people can add custom attributes now you can click on configure terms over here and enter your own custom slugs but if we refresh our product you're going to be able to see that now the more viable option that i like to add uh, when i am looking to create product variations is simply when i'm adding a new product so if i click on add new because this allows me to create custom variations for different products so this might be a t-shirt and whatever the product is, you're simply going to scroll down and you're going to click on a uh, variable product over here. Once you click on variable product, what you're going to do is you're going to click on attributes over here and then you can click on add custom attribute or as I previously just added sizes as a attribute that is site wide applicable. You can add that, but I just like to add custom product attribute and I like to click on add over here. Then I like to name the attribute. So the name of the attribute is supposed to be this section over here. So whatever thing that you want people to be able to customize, you're just going to enter that over here. So we might have sizes, you might have the color, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go and add sizes. And then you're going to enter the values. So if you want small, medium, large, then you're simply going to type in the first size, give it a space. Once you enter a space, press on shift and then on the uh, top right of your keyboard you're going to find this right below your delete button you're going to enter this kind of bracket then you're going to give it another space and then you're going to enter the next size so in this way i've added four custom sizes now you can click on used for variations make sure you put this in used for variations and click on save attributes now once you have saved these attributes you can click on variation and you can create variations from all attributes. Click on go or just click on add variation and go. And this will add a variation so people can, you know, add whatever variation they want. They have sizes over here and you can go on ahead and add all of these pricing or other kinds of uh, customizations to your variation. So you can click on set regular prices or increase regular prices. So for maybe a certain size, you want to increase the price. So let's say for extra large, you can go on ahead and increase the price and enter a fixed value or a percentage. So let's say that I want to enter a fixed value, which is maybe $25. Click on OK over here. Click on OK. So one variation does not have a price variation. Do have. So I'm just going to enter the actual price of the product as well just so i am able to you know uh go on ahead and enter multiple variation product so you can see i've added a singular item and for this i can add the regular price so the regular price might be 30 for this extra large t-shirt and i can click on save changes 
And now I have the extra large t-shirt priced at $30 and that is going to be a custom price for whenever someone chooses to buy this specific size. Now you can go on ahead and enter multiple different attributes. So I just added one simple attribute which is sizes. You can add colors, you can add variable pricing for each type of item. You can also create customized items as well. So if you do custom printing, you can be like front print and for front print you might be charging $15 and if people want a back print on their t-shirts as well you can charge 15 more dollars and you can just simply add that into the variation and when people select a certain variation which might be double printed then you can enter a fixed percentage or price increase for that product now once you have done that you're simply just going to enter all of the basic info about the product click on save draft or publish whatever you might want to click on if you're if the product is not completed you can enter just the basic publish and you can save it as a draft and then once your product is complete you can update that and add it as a, a viable product on your website now for each one of your you know product attributes i would recommend for each one of your variations you make sure to enter a set regular prices so you can click on set regular prices and click on go and enter a regular price so let's say that for normal people uh, for like a normal size i'm charging twenty dollars i'm going to click on okay over here and that is it so it is will set a default price for all of the regular ones for all of the things that i have not specified and for the specified one like the extra large the price will show up as 35 dollars once i've done all of these changes i will click on update over here and now if I go into my dashboard, if I go into my store that is over here, I will click on visit store. And now you can see I have a t-shirt which is priced at $20. And if I click on the t-shirt, you can see I have a variation such as sizes. I can choose options and if I click on extra large, it will change up the price. So that is how simple and easy it is to create variations or attributes from a singular product. You can see I've done this with this ring over here. I've added two different things. So I've added uh, metal colors and sizes and you can see all of the variations available. You can customize any kind of product in this fashion. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video